Hello, and welcome to another RedM tutorial video. In this episode, we'll be setting up a personal, local hosted RedM server to allow you to learn more about coding and RedM in general. We'll be going over everything you need to know to set up your own personal server quick and easy. So stick around because it's time to create. Hello everybody, I am Austin BMX with DRB Studios. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. If this video helps you out in any way, make sure to hit that like button before you leave. And if you're new around here and want to see more DRB and coding content, consider subscribing. As mentioned before the intro, we have a step-by-step -step guide to help you set up your first RedMRP server to allow you to start to create your own scripts and learn to code. If you have not done so already, please check out the links and information in the description to get you ready. And without further ado, let's get started. For this video, we will be using the DRB Studios project server. It can be found on our DRB Studios GitHub, which is linked in the description. You will need to go to this link, click on the green button, and click download zip. Also linked in the description is the two links for the database. That would be MariaDB server and also Heidi. If you are running Windows 64-bit operating system, both of these files are already included in the project files. You will not need to download them. You then will need to go to the server artifacts page for CFX, download the newest artifacts, and keep this link for later use because you may need to update these in the future. After this, you will need to go to the CFX Keymaster site, make sure you are registered with this site, and allow you to create a server when the time comes. After you have all of this stuff downloaded, we will start the process to create a database on your local computer, import the RedMRP framework into that database, load the files required to start a server, start that server, and register it. This process should take no more than 10 minutes. The first thing we're going to do is take the files that we downloaded from the DRB Studios GitHub and actually move that to a place on our server that we would like. So we're just going to copy this entire folder and place it somewhere else that we would like. You can now rename this anything you would like. We're going to type project server. Inside this folder, we have a few things to look at. We will have the CFX server file, CFX server data file, and the SQL file. If you do not download Maria or Heidi, both of them will be located inside the SQL server. If you are running standard Windows 64-bit, you can use both of these installers to install these, which we will do very soon. But before that, we're going to go to the CFX server file, and we're going to drop in all of our artifacts that we downloaded from CFX. All of our artifacts that we downloaded from CFX came in a 7-zip file, which we've unzipped, if we open that up, you can see that all here. We're just going to copy all of this and place it right in here inside the CFX server. Next, we will install and create our database. The first thing we need to do is open up the MariaDB. Hit next. Agree. Hit next. Hit next, type in a password. The current password we have loaded for the system is at password. You will also need to type this or you will need to make changes in your server CFG file. Hit next, next, install. And finish. Do the same thing with the Heidi file. And the next thing we will want to do is launch it. So we'll just keep this checked and we'll hit finish. It should launch this for us. Inside the Heidi database information, you need to put the password that we put in into earlier, which is at password. And hit open. Heidi will be the interface that you will use from now on in the future to do anything you need to do with your database. If you're unfamiliar with how to use this, there'll be more videos on our channel, going 
going over commonly used practices. But to load your initial database, it is fairly easy. Go to File, Run SQL File, go to your server folder that you just created, to SQL, and click on Main SQL. Hit Open. Now it has ran and loaded all the data. Unfortunately, you need to refresh this. The easiest way to do this is to right click on unnamed and click on disconnect. It will reopen the login page for you. Type in at password again. It will refresh this and we now have our Redm RP database with all the databases we need to create our characters. We'll go ahead and minimize that. Go back to our project server folder and like that, you're ready to start your server for the first time. So in order to do that, we go to our server folder that we dropped all the artifacts in, scroll down until we find the FX server application file, and launch that. Launch this for the first time should trigger a TX admin creation page, just like it did. We'll hit link account. If you have not already logged in to your 5M account, go ahead and do so now. We're just going to hit continue. We're going to create a master password for our server. And then we're going to go through the TX admin setup. This is fairly simple. Just hit next here. Write a short name that you'd like to see on your dashboard. We're going to put project server. Hit next. For deployment type, just click existing server data. Now it wants to know where all your server data is located. Easiest way to get this is to go back to your project server. Open up the CFX server data file. Right click up there on the top of the file. Copy as text. Paste that in here, hit next. If it is incorrect, it will tell you it's incorrect. It says it found it. It also was able to find the CFG file as well. Hit save and start. Our server has started for the first time. The next thing you will need to do is create your server key. It's fairly simple. All you need to do is just click on your FX server page, scroll all the way to the top to the first time you started it, and you will see an IP address ending with port 40120. Copy this down without the 40120. So if it's 156.172.64.55, copy that down. You will then go to your Keymaster page, link in the description if you haven't opened that already. You will click on New Server. Type any name you'd like here. You need to type in the IP address that you copied down from the FX server. This is your local host IP address. Our type will be home hosted and we're just gonna say that our provider is home, not a robot. Hit generate. Now we have our server key. Go ahead and hit copy. Go back to our TX admin. On the right hand or the left hand side, hit CFG editor. Go all the way to the bottom and I have a place for you to put this key. It's right after SV underscore license key, space, key, save file. Next, there's one more thing we'd like to change. Go to settings, go to FX server, go to one sync, turn that on. This setting is needed for the PMA mumble voice system to work in your server. Hit FX server settings, save, go to dashboard, hit restart, confirm. Our server is now restarting. We can check the live console. It's authenticating the server key. And just like that, your server is up and running. After that, all you have to do is just open up the RedM client. If you have a locally hosted server, you will see it right here. Connect to your locally hosted server. Go ahead and click on that. And just like that, you're inside your own server, ready to create your own very first character. Now that you have your character created, you can walk around the world and you can start using your own RP server and loading up new scripts. Within this build, we have some admin tools created. We have Noclip. You also can hit the delete key and open up Spooner. We also have videos on the channel to show you how to use Spooner where you can create your own Y maps. And you also have Weather UI, allows you to change the weather, the time, anything you'd like to do, as well as IMAP Viewer and other tools. We do hope that you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial and it helped you get your first RedMRP server set up and ready to use.
If you have not done so already, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content on games, tech, and code. I'm Austin BMX with DRB Studios, bringing ideas to life. Hope to see you again soon, but until then, keep on creating.